Hello traders and welcome to this Bitcoin technical analysis video and we will also have order flow overview on the Bitcoin. We will have a look on Bitcoin from 53,000. We were we were in the really nice shorts with the group. We were taking it together almost live, I would say. And this was one of the largest winning trades for me this, this uh, month, not even week. So we will be analyzing Bitcoin from this point until present moment then i will have a look on bitcoin what we can expect next from here from the order flow perspective and technical analysis and in the last portion of the video i will give a small attention to the ethereum and solana because i know some of you trade it okay so let's start with bitcoin on bitcoin we were in the really nice range sideways range but we were we had you look at those highs we we were building a lot of liquidity because these highs together, they are equal highs together. Now you have really good high, also very close together. And now you have the final range high here. So if you start taking these regions, it's very likely you will cause significant moves to the upside because people will be getting stopped out and liquidated. And once it's done, it's going to be decision time for the Bitcoin if we... If you find resistance and go for the large swing failure pattern, which happened, or you will push up to the upside to larger liquidity regions. Okay. Now I'll be showing you how I was managing that. Of course, we will go re recent the Bitcoin post. I would like to really start uh, at the beginning of the week. I was giving traders areas where we have strong supply and demand regions. So we can see 53,000. I was also also saying uh, before, long time before we got there. I said it's strong order book resistance, potential swing failure, area, swing failure pattern area. This is Monday, 19 of February. Okay, so let's have a look on price. One day later, what happened? We just kissed 53K. On the spot markets, we didn't even breach 53K. So that's how powerful it was. So order books were on our side in this trade. Now let's go further down because we need to have a look on liquidity. All these orderful tools are giving massive, adv massive advantage to us. And we utilize them for the full potential. Look at this post. Here is the liquidity breakdown above us. 53k is NASA order book resistance. Uh, and starting from there, we will look if we get nice rejection back to range for swing failure pattern. If we get no swing failure pattern, we will head for the max pain liquidity very likely and craft new local range after it's taken out. So this is very clear. This is just local liquidity. I'm not even interested to trade that because I know the full range liquidity. Most people will be stopped out and liquidated when we go into this region. I give exact box, which is starting just above 53k and you get 53,180. And this is the area where we did swing failure pattern. If you would not stop here, you really need a tight stop loss for this trade, right? Just above 53,000 53 uh, something because you had other books protecting your entries. If you don't stop here, you have really no resistance to continue for the max pain liquidity. What is max pain liquidity? This is more, I would say, less leveraged people in the marketplace will be stopped out from this range as well. Because here you are stopping out crazy people with uh, 20x leverage, 50x leverage. Over leveraged people are getting out and also normal people who, are, who have normal stop losses are getting stopped out. So... But this was more like really max pain. If you want to really, really, really punish people and you would do one to one extension out of this range, that would be it. So swing failure pattern, very clear. Now market started pushing it to the regions. Let's let's go down. I said in the group, I'm already two shorts from the 50 area or 1% pulled. I, already, I was already scalping. You will see my breakdown from Bybit how I was taking that. I did three hammers each 53k retest. So for sure I did my job. Tiny validation was also great with the help of order books. So I was very aggressive with the initial entries, but later order flow also confirmed it was the right decision. Why I was aggressive? Because I still had this 53K on all exchanges and on, on all spot markets was getting protected with really large, large walls. So I was getting nice protection for my stop loss. He's already making reward ratio beautiful. Okay, so let's go further. You see how we were taking these two liquidity nodes into our box as prepared. Further down. So we are starting to see a nice rejection. Now we are getting under this low. So it's, it's starting to be swing failure pattern. Now my decision process is like that. You either stop at this market structure 
very very key market structure it was massive resistance in the past for us so many shorts we took in this range this range was one of the easiest range to trade by the way just based on auction market theory and market structure areas now this is decision time you stop here then you can continue to rehearse or you will get you will lose this market structure along with Vach. Now you are getting green light for the more to the for the move to the downside. What's your another target? Of course, high volume node with point of control. Okay. So it's like green light, red light trading a bit, yeah. Now from the order flow perspective, this was fantastic. Yeah. So we were getting attacks on the highs, but they were not so strong. But the third attack on the highs was really great because we had very large longs on binding on Binance and Bybit. Uh, look at that reversal candle a lot of imbalances so very aggressive buying open interest is increasing now it's getting reversed this is what we want to see for the uh, this was like my largest size was entering here because i was seeing those people are getting trapped longs continue to to push on these highs but also getting absorbed now as you move down you are trapping these people as we move down look at this the first people who are puking out are these people from top boom down so we had help from the order flow as well let's go further down now ethereum was also uh, doing 3k rejection let me show you ethereum just a bit because yes you you trade bitcoin that's perfectly fine but ethereum has massive influence on bitcoin especially now with potential etf approval and uh ethereum is breaching uh, like ethereum is really outperforming bitcoin recently so it's moving into its own resistance look here we were hitting on ethereum 3000 so because ethereum has the largest influence on bitcoin so i was actually uh, you know viewing this as confluence for the bitcoin and look at the rejection this was a very technical rejection 3000 on ethereum was the psychological barrier uh, options barrier so many barriers and of course you had daily naked point of control of from, based on volume so it was helping bitcoin as well okay <clears throat> let's go further uh, we were also watching one uh, one important aspect which you really can find out only when you do statistics and uh, backtesting. Uh, Bitfinex, by the way, is like massive selling walls are on Bitfinex since 53,000. Uh, they usually are really good with uh, timing the tops and bottoms in the market. I would say I I would say some inner clever entities are operating there because they really time this this uh, structure so even if we were pushing outside the ET, uh, i mean swing failure pattern about 53800 you still have really huge resistance of 2000 bitcoin in the order books in these regions you would need really big demand to break over so it's very likely even if you would push uh, no swing failure pattern you would craft new range uh, just below these walls or inside them so we were prepar prepared for any scenarios, but the, you know, they that was also a nice confluence to expect we can actually top out on Bitcoin at least from intraday perspective. Okay. Plus, they are doing TV up selling for two days. This is also doing pressure on Bitcoin. They they were selling like twenty five thousand every minute uh, for all day, and this is like getting pressure. Together, they uh, they sold already like 1,000 Bitcoins, right? So they, they are putting pressure. And you, you see what happened now. So you are getting green light. You are losing market structure, Vach, on the major swing failure pattern short. This was, by the way, dual entry for me. So I entered as a, on a scalper account for faster results and then on a day trade account because I recognize potential for this trade can be... Don't have to be just this move down. Okay, we can actually uh, rotate the range down. We can actually lose the range for breakdown. So you want to have exposure. Two accounts minimum to get exposure here. <clears throat> this was the uh, tip up selling I was mentioning, but it's more advanced. I'm not gonna give it attention. So you see, I know most of you know, but repeating is matter of wisdom. Open interest was also telling us we will see elevated volatility. Ten thousand Bitcoin threshold was breached just before that major swing failure pattern. So we on Bitcoin we can predict volatility based on open interest. Now open interest reached over five hundred million in re really small area. Look here from nineteen of February till just two days of of range brought over five hundred million into market. So once you do very violent moves with price action. You know you will be stopping out people you you also had some nice shorts here you also had a lot of longs longs were greedy by the way this close down was also from the longs getting greedy because the main open interest increases were going when we were going up first one here and another one here so most people were actually long as they fail as they saw the failed break up with the swing failure pattern they were fueling move down with closing their longs as they you know they just panicked there so you see 
you can literally see who who has like a weaker hand in the market who can push this market with the fuel so simple I do breakdowns for the traders in the group how I really traded it on a buy bits on both buy bits so you see how was I approaching this trade this was limit short I was expecting um, this was like a 40% of position initial one this was the another position those were two like more of a like scalping approach now I was earning for the stop loss here you can just stop this picture and see how I was managing this trade but the key thing was here this was the major like the full size over 3x entry uh, because we saw these traders getting trapped at the top now I was adding to trade also on the breakdown uh, on the swing failure pattern breakdown yeah this was here major swing failure pattern yearly high so critical high for you right if you failed here you just have already really large potential you see I'm taking nice profit the daily view up and also scalper is already out here because we hit point of control and high volume node you can also add to your trades when you are in big profits but only gentle so you don't because if your entry is here or here you don't want to lower yourself too much when you add and market takes you out the normal volatility so yes yes this was gentle adding but this you know you see you see day trader still had only you know day trader had over 50 percent exposure around 60 percent exposure still while scalper was out this is how you combine uh, two accounts approach together we were getting scalp from the 31 million wall on the dairy bit as well it's not so important it was uh, more of a scalp uh, our short was also getting help so with bit with bitcoin you know is bitcoin is sensitive to the stock market because the more you the more you include bitcoin in the traditional portfolios of the trade managers and so on the more bitcoin will be affected by the traditional markets as cash opened which is always key for the bitcoin because the largest volatility starts we see open drive on uh, es and we are rejection and that's also fuel move to the downside of bitcoin they are locked together like uh, correlation is like 95 percent for the past two three days uh, most of the world was red uh, most assets in the world were red so it was not you know not helping bitcoin uh, in the end so you see what happened uh, rotation full down scalper was already out here now market structure start to suppose the market the bit yeah this one this one was critical we had some long scalps as well like it was sc really scalping heaven i don't want to even go over so many scalps it will be just too long video <clears throat> who also the drop down was pretty healthy because we still have uh, like in this range we are building aggregated premium on open interest is still pretty high just telling you market is pretty compared to spot we have a lot of open interest build up from the perpetual markets so if you get into the deeper pullbacks they will be fueling and uh, outstretching moves to the downside right so that was the case as well here let's go further down Yes, this I can show you by the way on the chart as well. We go to Bitcoin. Long term market structure. So why you actually are creating range here? Because of course you create range range here and you trade the range. But why why is the range created? This is the reason. We have long term market structures. These are over one or two years old and they were previous supply and demand zones. Now look at this one. Perfect. So this was a stabilizing bottom of the range. On the top, we were just leaking uh, another one. So now we create range within them. Uh, sometimes they are closer together, but you see this one. This one was important. Rejection, flip into the support, boom up. Look at this one. Look at this one. This 50 minute time frame. Many, many rejections. This was creating top of our range. Now we started, uh, now we finally reclaimed. This was really important reclaim. Now it's acting as support, the uh, local one as well. Now we finally breached it and you just focus on another ones, okay? <clears throat> so yes, like that. Uh, we, uh, by the way, went into the, uh, so on the chart we went to the, let me show you where. This is where we stopped, just in front of the weekend lows. This was the market structure I was mentioning, the local one. I mean, uh, the big one as well, the uh, the, the long term one. And also you have another new market structure here. So I literally will add it. I uh, don't know why it's missing on my chart. Market structure local. 
Yes, you need that. We've seen so much stabilization, so it's, it needs to be added. Uh, so you will you were stopping at this market structure local one here, getting into the bounce. It was mainly caused by the ETFs getting uh, heavily in. So we need to go to one minute time frame, so you can see that clearly. There was massive, there was 100 million spot buying. So we found some nice supports here. We actually went into the longs here. It was a nice scalp. But you know, the bounce, where the bounce stopped, yet again, you are focusing on the range and market structure levels. Very, very simple trading here, by the way. Where we, where did we stop? We stopped at the eight day VAG and market structure area. So what, what I was doing here, so I already like, I had 60% uh, still the exposure as a day trader, right? Because I was not sure if you get a breakdown or not. I was adding to my position to full size uh, in this region. It means also you still need to keep stop loss behind the high. And uh, if you get another rotation, you will really earn a lot of money. This trade already earned me so much money as a day trader, right? I risk nothing if I raise position to full size. I lower myself a bit. I wider stop loss a bit. But this stop loss is covered 10 times from just from this rotation. OK, so that was the correct approach here. Why you also stopped here uh, when you go to the order books? Everything has reason. This is not just markets. Uh, this is not just technical analysis. Let's zoom out. Over here. Market was advertising for some time. Spot limit orders were, uh, were here. And now as you started to fall down, look here, new lot of spot limits were actually like cementing and blocking way to the downside. OK, so this was another reason. Now, as I see these big orders here, I'm very happy because I know I'm getting protected from the order books, uh, large, large limits on my short. So it's fantastic. And now we did another rotation. Also, when you go to perpetual markets, Yes, we filled some positions as well. So we are creating some nice absorptions. That was really, really cool. In the end, we got into the pullback. But do you know why we actually went to the downside? When we turn over everything. Now I will turn on only the weekend liquidity. Where are you? Weekend. So any day of the week. Week, yes, we need just Saturday and Sunday. As we know, really golden rule, weekend liquidity and weekend traders in the end get stopped out both directions. So first we stop them to the upside and now you have weekend low, weekend price action is anomaly. Uh, you have no large institutions participating on the moves. Now what you did, you did swing failure pattern of these lows. So this was really important and this allowed us to actually get into longs in these areas. Yeah. So what is fantastic? I have short from here. Yes, still 50% exposure. And I have long from here. I also took profits from here. So currently anywhere market goes, I will be making nice profits. That's that's really, really fantastic. Yes, you look at that. Rejection and um, spot was also showing you spot really like sold off and delta from the perpetual sold off fully on the on the way to the downside. <clears throat> And this is the this is the thing, yeah. You are getting you can predict the you will have large volatility and easy moves because all the books were so empty. You are this is what Bitcoin uh, loves. Like our traders, we love that. Impulsive moves to the upside and then in within 24 hours moves to the downside or upside. If you have empty order books, if you have empty order books, you need really a little volume to move Bitcoin. OK, so where did we stabilize? Where did we actually find the find the support, at least for this scalp where we had spot supply areas? OK, same to the upside resistance supply. So Bitcoin can actually range in this. Yeah. So this is this was fantastic uh, to know. So, uh, trading view is so important. Now we were yesterday, we were trading this. I was taking multiple scalps in these areas um, even before swing failure pattern. I was taking multiple trades perpetuals were already showing me support now these walls i was taking profit here we actually did multiple rejections from these walls super simple 80 percent of trades i take are done with the decision making from the order books yes now we are doing swing failure pattern yeah look at that look at that candle alone this is swing failure pattern of the weekend low 120 million volume with 84 negative delta that's crazy this is one of the extreme candles I've seen for a long time. 
over 80% of the candle is, is negative delta. This is telling you people are really feeling, this is not even pain, this is like agony of longs getting stopped out. So much forced selling. Such a brutal delta should like really send market down and give you a breakdown, but it didn't happen. We actually get swing failure pattern here. Really, really good. Uh, new longs are coming in as we start to push up. Positive delta is getting retained. You are getting all of these uh, signs of strength for you. So you can you can take this swing failure pattern easily. Plus you also had some, look here, people were actually shorting into the lows here. Big shorts here. Yeah, so you have fuel. Look now, you push now up, shorts are closing. You have fuel, just fantastic. These absorptions happened because Perpetual markets had really massive limits here. They knew people will be, uh, you know, closing positions and they will be forced to sell because if you have long and you are getting stopped out, you are forced to sell. So they, they actually, this is this is clever trading. Limit orders, absorbed, uh, retail, you know, spilling down into them and now pushing up a really strong reaction. This was very, very profitable trade as a scalper. You were in profit within seconds. This These are best trades when market is telling you, you are in profit within seconds, then you know, Yes, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, this is also post. So we, we got this thing failure pattern. Now open interest is getting uh, sideways, but we are building open interest to the upside. Who is actually building this open interest? These are new new shorts. In case swing failure pattern continues to the upside, you have potential to squeeze these people out and they will be fueling move to the upside. It happened, by the way. Do you see, do you see, <laughs> this is crazy, you know, there's so much predictions here are happening. This is why traders like to trade with us. My, I'm rarely wrong, you know, I, if you read uh, order flow correctly, you have objective bias. Your subjective bias is really little, there is no hesitation. You you are taking this thing failure pattern, but with order books, you still need to take nice profits here. Actually, it's closing a uh, scalp long here. This was still strong uh, resistance. So we were, we were trading just what was in front of us, this local range, okay? But day trade had no reason to, to close position. If you wanted a new long, you were waiting patiently for new new order flow data to come in. I was telling people where I take profit, actually time both take profits exactly. <clears throat> you can stop this post if you want. This is about the uh, new longs coming in. Yes, we were seeing some spot ups options here as well. It's not so, don't want to go over everything. We still have spot pressure as we are here. It's like pretty hard for the, I was telling traders, it's very hard for the traders to go about 52K because those are real spot resistance regions. So you need to trade uh, up to 52K. That's by the way, where we find the top. Here was the Nvidia. Here was the Nvidia push to the upside. Um, it actually helped Bitcoin to get to 52k. A AI coins also went up. Ethereum went up. Stock market went up. Everybody happy. So we are now waiting one hour for the stock market open, and uh, Nvidia will be very heavily up. Some of the crypto gains are tightly correlated with the, out, you know, AI uh, revolution and money spent in the traditional markets are also flooding to the crypto. So yeah, world is watching that. We also had uh, bullish CVDs, by the way, in this low. So market was, look at here, uh, bullish CVD is great. Uh, I was just explaining one trader here. You can take direct trades out of the CVDs, bullish or beige, but if you are in the position, it's additional confluence for you. You like you have fuel to squeeze, right? So market was on the larger scale uptrending up, but perpetuals were, sh were shorting down. So this was already giving you bullish divergence and also final approach to the low no, never taken. Uh, especially on this pullback, look here, people still selling hard, but they are unable to, they are so far away from the low, so another bullish CVD and in the end it played out. But what matters the most, yes, we had this local bullish CVD here, but these shorts, aggressive shorts from here, they were squeezed out, okay? So that was the main fuel and now open interest was squaring down. Look at that squared up, yeah? So we have pushed to the upside from the shorts now 52k and they are all of them out if you are in long you i recommend traders taking profit on this because you just burned local fuel so we do if the purpose of the market was to move up yes now you finish the fuel is more likely because this was open interest upside open interest moves if the open interest is decreasing they are faded more li like easier okay so uh, yeah you finish the missions now 
Yo long, scalp long is taking profit and day trade also takes uh, par partial profit. Don't have to be closed fully, but you you better do that. Okay. Yeah, so yesterday I was just giving traders box where I expect price might stay based on the order books, but we will see that. We already uh, we revisited the lower part of the box <laughs> on the bounce we, we might get. Okay. So this was a bit of trading. Um, you know, I show you, I show you tip of the iceberg. I, I go over the post pretty fast. This is just like more of a sum summary for our traders in the group, but also so you can have a sneak peek into the group how it works. But the most beneficial thing is to see and digest every single post I do as market develops live. This is where you learn the most. Okay, from my trading and from Bram trading with the trade management and other stuff. <clears throat> So on the Bitcoin, so we are still in the range bound environment. Now we need to be ready in case we lose the weekend. So with the weekend low, we already did swing failure pattern. But if we revisit the current low, maybe I should go to my charts. I don't have to do that from this picture. So let's do that. Just quick view on the Bitcoin. I still need to do some charting, but uh, just quick look from what we have currently. So very simple here, while we hold this market structure and while we hold VAL, Bitcoin is not, you know, Bitcoin can stay in the range by environment and rotate to the upside, but we are also getting rejection from the high volume node and POC. So you, you had a good opportunity if you were short from higher to add here. If you hold this area, we can still just range here. And once we break out these highs, we can go again for another rotation and hit the A day VAG and market structure. You reclaim this, you open road for the high. For another swing failure pattern or for the uh, major liquidity above us super simple plan green light red light trading level by level approach below us if you lose this low now when we go to high volume nodes and low volume nodes so we filled another portion of the low volume node you have no real support in these areas you have market structure but i would still prefer a market to drop to two day high volume node it's naked never got retested so it's very nice and you have a uh, point of controls within from TPO and volume perspective. So this is main support for you, 50,000 just locally. Uh, maybe I would say there, there, there is high chance we will get initial bounce on the 50K, but it is still possible we might lose 50K, take liquidity because people, when they, when we lose 50K, there will be for, there will be people in the world saying, oh, Bitcoin very weak, we go down. So there will be some nice selling. So for sure, it would be nice to get first bounce here, then lose it, you know, take some liquidity from into the lower supports and do another bounce and reclaim. That would be a fantastic scenario, which I'll be looking for. But initial scalp is, you know, it depends how you bounce also. Yeah, because we, we, we know when we are bouncing, if we get V-shape recovery or not, there are some certain rules for that. You can learn that in a group. Also, why we are seeing stabilization here, those are um, anchor view ups are still protect, you know, giving us support you see both of them are important because we are ranging um, both we were creating ranges before we went to the upside and they were holding very aggressive uptrends look here region where you look for longs region where you look for longs now a lot of chop so these whip ups are now losing power for my trading i will be deleting them soon i'm just watching them in case we push to the upside on the retest if they start to continue but too much chop if, if we get too much chop they will be deleted, they will be deleted, they, you know, their purpose was fulfilled. But we still have this uh, lovely anchor below us, which can offer us very really nice support. In the end, you need to go to exocharts. <clears throat> you need to go to exocharts and see on yourself where is the major support if you lose yesterday lows. Uh, let me do one more emerging like that. You see, it's right at the 50,000. By the way, other books are also trying to protect 50,000. So that's why it's pretty likely. By the way, no financial, uh, no financial advice, just entertainment and education. So yeah, 50K is getting protected uh, down to 44,900. We will see uh, if we lose this range, that's going to be a decision point. And now if we go like this and we continue down, we lose like uh, also the 50,000, then of course you need to watch 
these naked point of controls especially this one the four, uh, just you know 48200 very very strong it got front run a bit but you can still do sphinx failure pattern here into it and do large bounce so yeah this is another this is just from the value areas perspective Oh, also extensions were predicting we might, uh, you know, we might find the top here. You can see, let's go to one hour time frame. So this was the main, this is the main extension pull, uh, more like medium time frame. So we are doing nice impulse up, pull back, and now you are get, starting to get targets out of this. So one to one extension was hit already, but there was really like, a, we are mainly in the range here. There was no, no clear sign to take profit. You would need to do much larger rejection. Now we are getting, if we hide this, we are getting rejection out of golden zone, little, little front run. And in the end, we were reaching, so market was doing two to one, one to one extension was reached, two to one extension was, was done here from the initial impulse. And we are finding resistance here. So market is telling you it is liking, by the way, Bitcoin likes two to one extensions and in uh, extreme cases, even three to one. Yes. And it likes to take profit in this golden zone. So yeah, this is the correct pull. <clears throat> In case we lose this range, you know, we might easily go for the lower pullbacks. And also balance zone. Let me show you balance zone. Just uh, this one. So in case we, we will be holding lower supports below us, then this is the new future, future box where we can pre, uh, where we can start doing new range here. If we get no impulsive move to the downside, like we big, big large correction, I expect we might stabilize here. This is the new new box where I expect new range to form in. Yeah, just one to one extension out of the core of out of the core range here. <clears throat> and from the higher time frame perspective, it is still look at that for our time frame. We just fill 80% of the low volume node, yes, so I'll be doing this. We still have some low volume nodes from the high time frames, but once it gets filled, you know, we might find a big resistance at 55,000, which is our main VAG of the range. But I, to I said traders, is uh, we can actually range here for some time. I think I was showing you in the previous video, this is just low volume, not on big time frame. It makes sense to, to also range here and fill, fill the volume here. So it's, it's really nice. So I might do some video on Bitcoin. What we have uh, like trade areas to above and uh, below. I just wanted to go over my trading more and we can have a look very quick look, view on the Ethereum. Let's, let's go here. This is ES1. Ethereum is here. So yeah, just Ethereum. I just want to show you how proper guidance look like. So we will scroll up a bit. Where are you? Did I just miss it? Just a sec, one more time. Yes, over here. So we have a uh, we have um, trader who is asking. Uh, he was in really nice longs here, and um, he was he, he was getting really big out performance in his Ethereum trade. I decided to give him like free analysis what he can do with this position because he was asking uh, if he should hold on position or just close position. So this this was my view on Ethereum. So let's go down. You can stop the video, but yeah, I was showing him. Uh, Ethereum was really technical holding this key market structure. You see, the main resistance for the Ethereum was at 3016, and this this is like four month high volume node with the main uh, point of control. Do you see where we are stopping, by the way, on Ethereum? When I turn it on, and when I turn VAs, you are rejecting from form four month point of control. So it was really fun with Ethereum to push up. I actually had really nice sw swing trade on Ethereum, enjoying, but I closed the swing trade here and I'm re I'm uh, moving it to short. Already multiple rejections from the region 
and I already like made good money on the rejection. But yes, I don't plan to close position in case we get further weakness than Ethereum, because this is really strong resistance and market was giving you easy entries. And I told him, I told him to wait uh, until you hit proper resistance. So I told trader to take to took 60% take profit in case we go for deep pullback. But if we don't, it's best to wait for the 3000 targets and above. This was waiting to be hit. This was local support for him. It never got retested, but this market structure later got retested. If we go to smaller time frame, market structure. Oh, actually, no, it was, yeah, it was just retested here, never even lower. It was more, support was a bit higher. We were expecting volatility because open interest was increasing on Ethereum. And uh, the trader's long was really, really nice because you, he had help of 55,000 Ethereum in, in the order books. Well, it was really fantastic. But also warning signs from the order books, from the spot order books, aggregated spot order books were telling him we might range here and reject. Look here as each time. This was your intraday long. But each time we are getting change in the order books ratios, it's time for you to take profit, especially if it's more short term position. It was not wrong. TRDR, the most powerful weapon we have in the group. I don't mention it so often, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Too strong. So the trader in the end managed his position greatly. Yes. So he he like he didn't like market didn't took much from from the trader because I, I my advice was pretty useful, was pretty right on this. Let me check where is my soul. Here is my soul. So just the small attention to the soul. We'll be starting from the uh, market structure local ones. So we are seeing the soul actually was in beautiful uptrend, flipping uh, resistance to support. This was critical market structure to reclaim to the upside. But now you see where we are rejecting. We are rejecting at the top of the. This was like the last market structure before further upside. So. Yes, yes, you had really nice opportunity to short. You did. This was not even swing failure pattern. Major, major rejection mainly from uh, value areas. So yes, you went out outside this main range here, but in the end you got acceptance into it. Yes. And now market is fighting. So it's fighting at one month back. So you either look here. It's getting defended. You had nice long, but if it's getting acceptance, you will be moving into the point of control, high volume node, and on end of the range rotations, these lows will be very juicy for you to take out and potentially bounce and to stay in this range. Lose this range, and you will be focusing on trades in this region. Lose this region, you will be focusing on on this on this range acceptance or rejection, swing failure pattern rejection. This is easy, you know, with patience. It's no problem. You still have uh, one more high volume note here. Good to know. Anchor view ups. How are they looking? So this is the main supportive bands for the. This is more local anchor view ups. Look at that. They are supporting us since 40. 40 really easy to move in front runs. But yeah, once you get retest here, I'll be really interested to trade this. After a long time, they are really really strong and recharged. We look here how uh, Solana is trying to hold its uptrend. Yeah, right. Look here from just local one, yeah, local impulse. Buying opportunity, buying opportunity, another buying opportunity, but you know, it's not bouncing so so hard. So once you lose this and you get acceptance uh, below this downtrend anchor view up, you will open road much, much lower. How are the order blocks looking? Uh, I mean, order blocks. So you have strong order block here. It's really good region for potential bounce. So you'll be watching that. And this is another really strong, this is strong order block because these were last selling positions before we changed market structure and started pushing into the heavy impulse. So it's very likely these traders, when you get the touch here, they will be protecting this whole impulse. They will try to protect. They can fail, but they will be trying to protect for the bounce. So like this. Extensions, how are extensions looking? So this extension um, is still valid until it's like this. Oh yeah, it's invalid. It's invalid already because this high was taken out, so this can be deleted. And one more extension. No extension needs updates. Balance zones. Show me balance zones. What I did here. Yes, this is a this this should be ultimate support for the Solana in the 2024 in case of large pullbacks. <clears throat> 
and it's coming from this range here. And it already showed the symmetry, it was respecting this, so the symmetry to the downside and for the liquidity is going to be from these regions for the bounce. Very simple. We up close is not so important. Local FIPS, key local levels. Oh, yeah. If you do key local levels with market structures precisely, you can trade pretty easily. Key level here, rejection. Now you're playing it within. Key levels holding these two key levels from the previous range. Superb. You know, another area for the bounce here and more. Super easy trade areas. This gave us how much? This trade area I was planning for the group 6.7% 6, 6 beautiful and you still have these trade areas in the lower regions. Medium time frame. Medium time frame, strong uptrend still. Uh, all the anchor view ups getting untested for a long time so you'll have your eyes on this. If we combine with the local ones, where are they? They're just above. Yeah, but you, you have a lot of defending lines for the Ethereum. Uh, I mean for the for the Solana when you go down. Medium market structures, these are mainly from the 4 hour time frame from these regions, yes. In case you go for much lower pullbacks, then uh, you really need to hold this one. Yes, 50 to 44, this is this should be really defended. Extreme, extremely important. If you lose this, you know, it can be very bad for the Solana. And we will have, uh, so daily, <coughs> front run, weekly, weekly levels, just waiting, monthly, Market structure monthly resisting, really, really big resistance. We can have a look on monthly Y. One hour time frame. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is crazy resistance. Yeah, because you know bears are defending here. Uh, if you if you reclaim this, you will actually open road until 200 Solana, 200 uh, 200 uh, dollars Solana. So you are seeing why it's this is logical take profit for the bulls here. So it's zero surprise we are seeing uh, rejections here. This was really, really critical close, okay? And open, monthly open, so no surprise for us. But yeah, you reclaim this, you open low road much higher. Above this high and much, much higher. From monthly perspective, of course. Let's go further. So naked point of controls. Oops. So we had trade from this one. I can delete it right now. This also got a scalp, look here, small rejection. Yeah, I know it's uh, like tiny time frame, but it's okay. And you will now have a lot of, yeah, this is your, if you lose this local range, you will have a lot of supports in these regions. Now we have much larger ranges to, to have a look on Solana. No, we need to go really to eight hour time frame. So you see what is happening. So Solana currently is trying to trade outside this range, but it's not so easy. This was really, you know, a lot of FTX problems were here. 22 March. No, no, this was not FTX. It was early. But, you know, <clears throat> this was already big trouble for the crypto and Solana was a good vehicle for some people. So it is very logical. Solana is spending a lot of time here. But it can actually serve this this previous range here can serve as a good support for the, you know, as a good platform if you manage to stay here and don't break down in life and feel a lot of inefficiencies. This is like good, good platform for the much, much further pushes up. And you see what is happening. Solana, absolutely strong respect to the to this range because once you get acceptance you are rotating it i would actually ignore this for mon pog i mean uh, it was trying to hold this high volume not like overall look here is very fat is it is it on my chart oh no let me show you like this especially after you yeah, yeah it was a lot of chop there but you know market is really trying to hold this for mon val look at that this is amt power very very strong while you hold this level, you don't expect much lower prices because market is telling you, yes, I'm happy with this value in the area. But yeah, super. This is what we like. This is what we really like to trade. When you move into the range with the impulse, even outside, you then get acceptance. Market is getting more calm and you, you are protecting and defending to stay in the range. Yes, stay in the range. And then you got rotation. Look here, rejection. So market was clearly paying attention to that from here to here. Beauty, beauty. High volume nodes are prepared above us and below us. Key medium time frame levels. So you see, I was I was sh showing you from this point, uh, we were rejecting on Solana from the key local level, but now you are also in. Oh yeah, this was really big low. So yes, this is now key level resistance, like precise level, and now you also hold this key level from here. 
So it's like in between key levels, beautiful respect. Let's have a look what are the valid balance zones on Solana. So let me show, let me turn on this one, yes. Oh yes, yes, this is beautiful. So we were ranging here for for a long time. How long? Yes, for three months or four months. In the end we reached one to one extension. This is this is power of the balance zone. So market was telling you I'm happy to trade one to one extension and create new range here. It was more more focused in the lower parts. So below zero one point five here. Now if you break out of this range, you will be having target based on the symmetry of the liquidity and balance zones and symmetry overall at two hundred Solana. For me, it's gonna be big target. I will be taking some large profits on Solana uh, just based on this symmetry because market cap will be already. If you go here, market cap will be already as you were in any top. This is, uh, because Solana is very inflationary, so you really need to take some profits in the bull markets. Otherwise, you will be wrecked. Yeah. So this was one one balance zone, and then we have the. Oh, that's just the overall breakdown not needed and we have a look we can have a look on higher time frame like super high time frame so solana is not in the bull market yet you will need to take out this high you would need to start trading the like this is like you need to split this to big range you need to be in upper half and so on it's not like bitcoin right but you are you are above major long-term anchor areas which are over a few years old these are now this should be very massive support as well so you see a lot of lot of things actually in case solana gets big pullback are gathering at the 50 and 40 level so yes yes you better watch that if you want to you know get some swings and uh, spot markets this is high time frame range oh yeah this one is very big oh uh, yeah look at that even if, if we're trading in the bull markets here massive rejection from point of control high volume node and val now it's gonna be key level if you if you reclaim this this is really opening door to 193 just from this high time from perspective plus you also this was secondary high volume this was secondary POC and uh, high volume not you have the or actually probably because i have eight hour uh, time frame but it should be uh, on the bigger time frame it should be here never mind you also can watch this one as well because this is high volume note so of course you will be paying attention to that but yeah you see how critical is going to be this region to reclaim it will open doors market structure areas from the high time frame if you swing solana and uh, you are s s spot like spot holding then you watch this as well so far it is you know textbook uptrend each time we reclaim look here this was from uh, how long my tw may 20 2021 reclaim upside now we are doing massive moves to the upside reclaim it's holding but now we are chopping you see this one is highlighted it's stronger color and the red borders this is for me the most critical market structure and yes it is because look here support big rejection on the retail's rejection strong strong and then we have another big one here in these regions if solana can clear all these two major market structure resistances we open road much higher i also expect it's going to be battle here high time frame extensions hmm, not needed and macro balance zone what is the macro balance zone showing us one day time frame oh yeah so this is the pool which was this is bull market pool where price spent so much time on solana so we were 0 125 was getting really massive supports here this was also like used for the swing trades and our spot in the end 175 was holding us so in case you take out this high here this is going to be your first target and is it can actually give you this swing failure pattern here once you feel the we can chop here and do rejection into the back into the range so yeah based on symmetry is expected so on the first do high time frame swing failure pattern this is bull market target in case we we manage to go over 200 which is going to be massive resistance yes just based on symmetry and if we go like into true crazy bull market or i don't know then your final target based on this previous volume symmetry and uh, price action will be in this box here which will repeat symmetry from bottoming here okay so that was just quick view it was only technical analysis i just showed you only 20 percent of what i can show you on solana rest of it is order flow so of course you watch order books funding rates 
spot, how is spot doing, perps and so on. But just quick view, what is Solana currently doing. Yes, traders, this is long video already. Thank you for watching and I really wish you a really nice day and see you in the group. If you want to educate, come and join us. Bye.